What are you doing? I'm calling a tow truck. <laughs> tow truck? They're gonna charge you an arm and a leg. Let me tow it for you. No, really, it's okay. They'll pick up, it's, it's all right. No, 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 I'll get it. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some more fun with level 4 body armor. We have shot this with just about everything and today we're going to see how it holds up against the almighty 577 Tyrannosaur. One, two, three. Ah! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe I just did that. That earned a subscribe. You better hit that subscribe button. So today I have four level four plates. These are made by Premier Body Armor and they're ready to stop up to an armor piercing 30-06. We've had quite a bit of success making it through these things with elephant rifles, but today we're gonna try out the real life T-Rex rifle, the 577 Tyrannosaur. If you are new to the channel and you have not seen it yet, this is my A-Square 577 Tyrannosaur bolt action rifle. One of only 24 ever made by A-Square and it's an absolute monster. It fires this behemoth of a round. This is a 750 grain solid moving at 2,000 460 feet per second. I have really fallen in love with the 577 Tyrannosaur, so much so that, uh, well, just let me show you. I may have accidentally, total accident, have bought another 577 Tyrannosaur. This one's brand new though, and has never been fired. It is absolutely gorgeous. And today, I'm gonna shoot it. What's better than one 577 Tyrannosaur? Two 577 Tyrannosaurs! Oh, gosh darn it! Let's wipe it on my pants here. That's what your pants are for. It's like a big napkin that you wear. So I have several different types of ammunition today and we're gonna see how each one does at penetrating a level four plate. A few moments later. So the first round I'm gonna use is a round nose 750 grain brass solid. This rifle is a little bit lighter than the other Tyrannosaurs, so I'm really curious to see how hard it kicks. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay, well, two things. One, that Furby went very high. And two, this Tyrannosaur kicks really hard apparently. So there's this nifty little button right here and when you hit it, it opens up your magazine. This thing kicks so hard that I managed to hit it with my finger and that's why that opened. <laughs> Furby's alive! Well, Furby was alive. Let's take a look at our body armor here. Looks like I hit a little low and we blew completely through the body armor. Just, it's like it wasn't even there. <laughs> our water jug <laughs> is annihilated. Fatality. Flawless victory. So it doesn't surprise me that the 750 grain brass solid made it through this body armor. But now what's gonna happen if we hit it with something a little bit softer than that? Okay, I have another five gallon water jug. 
and another level four plate. The brass solid cut through that body armor like a hot knife through butter. But what's gonna happen when we hit it with a 650 grain soft point? All right, I'm ready to get the snot kicked out of me again. Let's do this. I tell you what, I don't think I like this feature on this rifle. Okay, let's take a look at our body armor here. Uh, Furby did not get jolted back to life that time. And let's see. Oh dear. Oh my God. Okay, so our water jug is destroyed. And you would think that that round must have went completely through the body armor, but it did not. It actually stopped it. It stopped it, but oh my goodness, you would have felt that. With something like this, you have to question. It stopped the round, but would it also stop your heart? <sighs> okay, I have another level four plate and another five gallon water jug. Come here, Furby, I'm not done with you. The lead soft point did quite a number on that body armor, but it did stop it. Now I want to know what happens if we hit it with a 590 grain brass hollow point. And for this next shot, I'm going to switch back to the A square. All right, beat myself up some more. Oh! Oh my gosh, Furby's alive again. <laughs> Okie dokie, Furby definitely did not make it through that one. We, uh, oh dear. <laughs> Let's take a look at this body armor. Oh my, okay, that brass hollow point almost completely made it through the body armor. Look at this, almost complete separation of the ceramic and the material in the back. Look at this, that is crazy. That is one heck of a punch. Again, one of those scenarios where the body armor stopped it, it did a fantastic job, but that would have really hurt. This body armor reacted about like my parents' marriage. A complete separation. I have one more plate and one more round that I wanna try out. I have this clear ballistic gel block that is partially used, but it's still good. I'm gonna set it up here on the table, put this last level four plate in front of it, and that way, if we do penetrate completely through the plate, we can see how far it would make it into the gel. All right, the last round I'm gonna use is a 750 grain brass solid, but it's a flat point. Oh! Holy smokes! So here is our plate. I was aiming for the B, hit kind of in that area. And oh dear. So I just reviewed the slow-mo footage and it is very obvious that this plate did in fact stop the flat point solid. But there was one heck of an energy transfer to this block. So much so that it punched about a, I don't know, a two inch hole into this block. So when it comes to the 577 Tyrannosaur, pretty much anything you shoot with it is gonna be hurting. But when it comes to penetration, a round nose solid seems to be the trick. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button.
Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. <laughs> and as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.